world's biggest liner provided the hardest ever dry docking operation. The problem? To maneuver the Queen Elizabeth's 1031 foot hull into position with scarcely a yard to spare. The strong wind blowing at the time challenged the docking crew to the utmost, but they succeeded with no more damage to the ship than a scrape of paint. The Firth of Clyde dry dock had to have a notch cut at the head to accommodate the bow. The object of this exercise is to carry out an ambitious improvement program. The great liner is to be modernized and also equipped for cruising in the winter months when the transatlantic traffic falls off. Air conditioning throughout, more shower baths and a large deck swimming pool are some of the major improvements on the program. When the work's done in the spring, it'll be the dawn of a new career for the Queen Elizabeth.